you're planning a visit to Rocky Mountain National Park during the month of February, then you're in for a treat. It's one of my favorite months of the entire year. There's nothing quite like it. I suppose that's because I'm someone who absolutely loves winter, especially winter in the mountains. Now, February in Rocky Mountain National Park is when the snow starts to pile up. It's not our snowiest month, but it really begins to look and feel white and wonderful. And this is particularly true in the subalpine zone, such as around Bear Lake, which typically has about 40 inches of snow on the ground by February. Now, the west side of the park usually has even more snow. However, one of the things you'll quickly notice on your visit is that the town of Estes Park, as well as the lower elevations of the park, they'll typically have very little snow. In these lower areas, it will snow and they'll typically melt within a few days. Another thing you'll notice is that the temperatures will vary greatly from one part of the park to another. Now, this is true all year round, but it can feel quite pronounced in the winter. While the temperature may be a balmy 40 degrees Fahrenheit in Estes Park, up at Bear Lake it could be just 20 degrees. And the west side of the park is often much colder than the east side. And you may wake up in the morning and find that it is minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit, but quickly warms up as the day goes on. I should also mention that if you visit any time in the winter, you'll most likely encounter some very windy days, particularly on the east side of the park, so be prepared. Now, if the winds are truly ferocious, I recommend staying inside or in town due to the risk of falling trees. Park visitation in February is pretty quiet. In fact, it usually has the lowest visitation of the entire year. This makes it easy to get parking at the trailheads and to really enjoy the beauty of the natural world. However, Saturdays and Sundays can be very busy as people from all over Colorado's Front Range come up to enjoy winter in the mountains. So during the weekends, if you're planning to head to Bear Lake, Glacier Gorge, or Hidden Valley, I recommend getting to the parking lot or the trailhead by eight or nine in the morning. Now, during February, all that you need to enter the park is a National Park Pass, and that can be purchased at the entrance booth. You do not need any special timed entry permit to enter the park like you do in the summertime. If you dress properly, you can really enjoy February in the mountains. The most popular activity is snowshoeing. Snowshoes have straps that go around your boots and let you walk on top of the snow without breaking through very far. Now remember, there'll be nearly 40 inches of snow below you at Bear Lake in February. Snowshoes also have spikes on the bottom, so it can help you to keep from slipping when the trails get icy. Now, I recommend renting a pair before you head up into the park. You can rent them as well as poles from outdoor stores in Estes Park and Grand Lake for just under $10 a day. Now, often the trails right around Bear Lake can be hard packed snow and ice. And when it's like that, it's a great time to use micro spikes to hike. These spikes slip over your boots and will keep you from slipping. Just be sure not to step off the trail or you're gonna sink into the deep snow. Now, another popular activity is sledding at Hidden Valley. They have a couple of small hills that are great for kids. They really aren't too steep, but you can still get going pretty fast once the snow gets packed down. The sledding hills are very exposed and so are best avoided if it's really windy. It can also get pretty busy up there on the weekends if the weather is good. Now between the sledding hill and the parking lot, there are nice heated bathrooms and there is also a warming house that is open usually Friday through Sunday. And the warming house is a great place to warm up and to have your lunch. Now Hidden Valley is the only place where sledding is allowed in Rocky Mountain National Park. You can rent sleds, goggles, and other winter gear from the outdoor stores in Estes Park. Wildlife watching is another great activity. Keep your eyes open on the sides of the road, and you may spot elk or deer grazing in the lower meadows. Occasionally, you also see coyote. And if you drive down Highway 34 towards Loveland, you may see bighorn sheep grazing on the side of the road. Now, I recommend that you take extra care with watching animals during the winter so that you don't disturb them because they really struggle to survive and if they have to run away from you that uses up uh, precious energy. Now be aware that the roads in the park, especially the higher you get, will likely be snowy and icy. <laughs> I recommend that you bring a vehicle with snow tires and ideally with all-wheel drive as that's going to give you the best grip on the roads. Now, be aware that the National Park Service will regularly enforce a traction law when the weather is bad or when the road conditions are poor. Now, when that traction law is in effect, you'll need to have snow tires, 
all-weather tires, or chains before they let you in the park. You should also know that Trail Ridge Road, which connects the east and west sides of the park, is closed during the winter season. So to get from one side to the other requires a three and a half hour drive around the mountains. Well, if you dress warmly, bring a thermos of hot chocolate, come prepared for a winter wonderland, you're gonna have a great time here in Rocky Mountain National Park. While you're up here, be sure and stop by my gallery in downtown Estes Park to say hello. Perhaps I'll even see you out in the trail. Well, if you enjoyed this video and learned something from it, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. It really helps me more than you know. Thanks so much. I'll see you all soon. To help you prepare for your visit to Rocky Mountain National Park, visit my website, RockyMountainNationalPark.com. For calendars, hiking guides, coffee table books, and more, visit RockyTrailPress.com. And when you arrive, be sure and visit my gallery in downtown Estes Park. It's called Images of RMNP.